This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... Ladies and gentlemen, I'm making my second debunk debunk, and this one will be quick. So the whole point of this video, and, and I'm done with this subject. I mean, Marvel just made Thor a woman. I got bigger fish to fry. I'm not going to go back to kicking the big beehives and still playing around with the amateur astronomers. They're still in social dappers. Anyway, he showed on his third debunk a video saying, hey... You know, Thor doesn't understand 3D. And so I, you know, that's why he makes it look like a Jacques we brush up against Venus. One more video about this lens flare visible in stereo head HI2 being caused by Venus. Or I said that comet, uh, the comet's tail is not actually going to brush Venus. It looks like it will in the images, uh, but that's just because you're looking for the a two dimensional image, and space is three dimensional. And the three-dimensional relationship of the orbit of the comet to the orbit of Venus will not allow the tail to brush Venus. So here's the perspective that Stereo Ahead has on July 6th. You can see the comet here. If I zoom in a little bit more, there's the comet's tail. So yeah, from that perspective, it would look like uh, that the comet's tail would brush Venus. But that's not actually what's going to happen. Because in three dimensions, we see the comet if we go back to go back to July 6th here for a second, you see the comet's way over here. Venus is way over here. And if I zoom out, stereo ahead is looking at these two. But unless you know the, the relative distance, uh, you find that you, you would you would think that maybe the tail is going to brush Venus. Well, hey, guess what? I understand 3D. So from what we have seen, the evidence, it pretty much looks like Jacques Coast would have brushed up against Venus. The main thing I want to show here is, so when Astro goes to debunk the Venus being brushed up a guy by Jacques thingy, he shows this orbital Jacques, like, oh look, it's 3D, man. And see, in 3D, it doesn't come anywhere close. And then, if we look at his orbital, it like ends somewhere around Jupiter, right? You know, it goes around, makes a loop around like Jupiter, and then comes back down. And it's like, what orbital are you using, man? Stereo has this thing going way out, far beyond Pluto, far beyond, like, the Sedna region, far beyond the Oort cloud, you know? So the one that NASA gives us has Jacos' orbital way out in the middle of nowhere, and then the one you give us has Jacos' orbit around Jupiter. You think of that stupid man, you know? Like I said, I'm done playing these games where you initially accuse me of being a liar for asking what is this is it a neutron star technically you cannot call anyone a liar for asking a question and then when you call me a liar you use some weird bullshit strategies and tactics or you just think that by sounding smart you're gonna get away with it like you use some orbital of a jacos that doesn't even come close to the actual orbital man it's just too funny. Anyway, I appreciate it. This has been a fun experience. But like I said, I got bigger fish to fry right now. Disney, who owns Star Wars, ESPN, Pixar, and Marvel Comics, has been trying to turn men into women for years. And now, they're changing Thor into a woman. Guess I pissed him off with the whole James Webb telescope slush fun video. Because you know, Disney probably owns...